Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are just gonna do some stuff So first up on the agenda, I decided to make some clay coasters or clay trays I tried making it before in the past but it didn't really work out because I rolled out my clay way too thin and it ended up bending too much so here I made sure to make it extra thick with my fruit juice bottle create like the border of the tree I don't know what to call it and I have went through multiple failures doing this step as you can see <laughs> but after watching a few more tutorials online I learned that you needed to make some slip which is basically mixing some water with clay but anyways you use it as a sort of glue to glue clay pieces together and also you have to score the edges you want to stick together so I used the palette knife again to make some nice slits before attaching my pieces together And after that, I have a nice therapeutic session molding the clay with my fingers and it was pretty relaxing. And the next step would just be to let the clay dry with air, as the name suggests. Before we begin painting the CDs, I would like you guys to just enjoy a moment of CD ripping ASMR. After getting most of the foil off the CD, I had to clean the blue tint off. And I saw a TikTok where a girl, she used like some oil and the only oil I had was this um, kind of overpriced hair oil so that's what I used with some like cotton pads and it might not be the most cost effective thing to use but at least it made my CD smell amazing <laughs> So I just cleaned off the blue tint and then wiped down all my CDs with some alcohol wipes. And they are clean and ready for some paint. I painted a white base first on all the CDs with the designs, which consists of mainly just flowers, blobs and lines which is the peak of my creativity here <laughs> and also can i just say while i was doing all these arts and crafts i was just like binging g-friend music videos from the start to the finish because i am very sad 
okay, let me just take a moment to talk about Chi Fan here. I feel like they have been such a big part of my life, especially during secondary school. And when I was back in secondary school, they were doing their schoolgirl concepts, and I was like, yes. <laughs> I was a huge simp. And after I graduated from secondary school and kind of matured a little bit, I felt that they matured together with me with their more mature concepts. And G Friend also kind of like allowed me to bond with other people who like G Friend. And we had a very good time making fun of our lives with G Friend inside jokes and stuff like that. And heck, I even participated in my secondary school's. Um, talent competition for Teachers' Day f- with a G friend dance, like I I love their dances, okay. But anyway, that's the end of my G friend appreciation segment. So back to painting the CDs. And for the colors, I mainly start with pink, purple, yellow, because I conform to gender stereotypes, which is not a bad thing. So. Let me be. And with that, I am done painting my CDs, and as you can see, I displayed them glamorously on the wall. I also used them as coasters for my soju bottle. I mean. Fruit juice bottles, and I think they look pretty cute. I have one right here. After I'm done painting the CDs, my clay coasters are still like not dry. So in the meantime, I will show you my bullet journal. I've been using this bullet journal for like I would say three months plus, and I mean it's just a regular dotted notebook. And personally, I've always been a fan of having a physical notebook for my to-do lists every day, as much as it's very convenient to have my lists on my phone and stuff. And I guess it's that process of having、um, my weekly template, and also the process of creating the template every single week, and using my egregious amount of mouth liners, and not let them go to waste. For every month, I also try to like use new Malena colors for a fresh start. I've been experimenting with my monthly pages. I used to just draw a monthly calendar, which I would never ever use. So recently, I've been trying to carve out different sections, such as habits, goals, and you know stuff like that. And I really like how it motivates me, and the joy I get out of it. So with that cheesy stuff out of the way, let's move on to painting my clay coasters, which is not that much exciting, but let's go. <laughs> Fresh out of the oven, my clay coasters are looking a little janky, especially the one that I made way too thin. But fret not, let's move on to sanding, and cue the sanding ASMR. Similarly to the CDs, I painted a fresh coat of white paint as the base. One of the designs I did was a pink gingham design, which I must say I've been really obsessed with recently. I just love painting it because it's really therapeutic. Because you kind of have to like connect the lines and. In the darker bits where they intersect, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense why it's so therapeutic. And for the coaster with the borders, I decided to paint some blobs because blobs they represent my mind right now. 
and they are in all sorts of different colors depicting the crazy mesh of ideas and other random thoughts I have squashed in my head and don't mean anything at all so that's the story of my blob clay coaster and last but not least we have our little tamago friend who is a little janky but I still decided to give him a little smile because that's all we need right now video i hope it kind of inspires you to just do something crafty i must say in the past few days when i'm working on all these different crafts like random cds that nobody wants um it really kind of like reset my mind a little bit and cleared the brain fog that i previously had see you in the next video bye